Okay, guys, today we are going to enter the gates of Jurassic Park and travel back to the past to see some of the awesome dinosaurs from the past. Cool! Check that out! Wow, that brings back some good old memories. Wow, guys, great to see you again. I got an awesome new video today. These are Jurassic Park knockoff toys from China. I mean, these are identical identical to some of the Jurassic Park toys and also uh, identical to some Jurassic World toys but it's from China they're knockoffs but they look really cool let's check out the three that we have okay so here we have a Dilophosaurus and a Stegosaurus so these are definitely identical to the Jurassic uh, Park ones and on the back of it, they give you like cool information for like a bunch of different dinosaurs. I did order these from China. Uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link below the video where you could buy them. They are cool. And then our next one is the T-Rex and Pterodactyl. This one here is definitely identical to the Jurassic Park one so that one is really cool uh, some more information on different dinos on the back I mean these just say dinosaur playset so it's kind of generic and here we have a Triceratops which is identical to the one from Jurassic Park and a Brachiosaurus cool okay let's go ahead open these up and check them out Actually, you know, I believe that is an Ankylosaurus. The Brachiosauruses have the bigger head. Okay, guys, you know what? I really do love the quality and the paint job of these toys, but they definitely are knockoff molds of the original ones. I mean, somehow they got their hands on the mold because the easiest way to see it here, look here. This is where they would have like the open wound, but it's painted over to blend into the dinosaur. The same with this one here, they would have the open like bloody wound. And this one here, this one here had some type of uh, action feature, I believe, which has been deleted. This one here, uh, I believe the original one flapped its arms, which they went ahead and deleted that one. And this one here, I'm not really sure. But you know what the cool thing is, guys? I mean, they're not making these dinos anymore. So the cool thing is, it's like getting brand new Jurassic Park dinosaurs today. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at these dinos like I said I really do like the quality uh, the only thing is with this one here you have a hard time getting this guy to stand I mean you almost have to sort of like tilt him back like that there but anyways uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy from top to bottom like I said it's cool because it's like getting brand new Jurassic Park dinosaurs how awesome is that and ah uh, they did a great job guys building these and painting them so here you could see uh, evil yellow eyes individual teeth on a small dinosaur like this is awesome huge tongue there uh, painted really nicely pink uh, they painted the claws really nice uh, black color and really good quality. Like I said, guys, uh, I really do like the quality of these toys. Okay, uh, some of them, they did leave the open screw holes here like they did in Jurassic World. So uh, in that way, they are similar to the Jurassic World dinosaurs also. Uh, the legs have full articulation, 360 degrees around. Really good detail, and I love the way they painted the claws. I mean, they did a great job 
with the painting of these guys. And I really like the fact... Uh, actually, what's it even say here? Okay, so here on the bottom it says Made in China Tyrannosaurus Rex. So like I said, I did order these uh, straight from China. So like I said, here is like the open wound. Uh, the tail moves 360, the mouth opens and closes. So, a lot of fun with these guys. And when we're done, I'm going to go ahead up and set them up in a Jurassic Park Dinosaur Park. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys, because these are basically Jurassic Park dinosaurs. I mean, look at the detail on this Dilophosaurus. They did a great job with the detail. You could see all individual teeth, uh, hand painted, the tongue's painted pink, the frills are painted red. Uh, this guy's head does turn 360 degrees. His mouth does not open and close, so that in itself is a little disappointing. And then, like I said, with this one, you could see the open wound, which would normally be painted red, but they just painted it over green. 360 degree movement on the arms. Great job with painting the claws. 360 degree movement on the legs. And once again, great job painting the claws on this guy. And 360 degree movement on the tail. So they did a great job with this Dilophosaurus. And once again, they identify it. Made in China, Dilophosaurus. This video also goes out to some of my viewers have been requesting I do more herbivores. Which it seems like herbivores are not as popular, but these videos are for you guys. I mean, I found some awesome herbivores to do for you guys and hopefully in the future I'll be doing more herbivores. Because, I mean, my job here is to please my viewers. I mean you guys like viewing my videos I like making what you want so go ahead drop your suggestions Stegosaurus once again copy of the Jurassic Park one but they did a great job I, I can't say enough of these dinosaurs because it's like getting brand new Jurassic Park dinosaurs I mean it's like going back in time like what 15 20 years so it's like being a kid again it's really cool Okay, so first of all, a uh, great paint job on these. They put even like the scales on its neck here. 360 degree movement on the head. I love the paint job on the uh, plates on his back. Really nice. And his body. I mean, this is like a purple, black, and yellow with like a gray undertone. Great job. I mean, whoever made these knockoffs did a really good job with them. 360 degree movement on the leg. Great uh, detail on the legs. The only thing is they did not paint the toenails of this guy, the claws on his foot. So I'm really surprised they did not do that. But ah, uh, great job with the claw. It will turn, I mean, the uh, spike on its tail. It will turn 360 degrees. Uh, once again, uh, on this side, they went the Jurassic World route. I mean, they left the exposed screws, which in the original ones, they would not have done that in the Jurassic Park ones. So once again, here we go. China Stegosaurus. So, great job identifying these guys. If you're new into dinosaurs, it's a good way to identify and then with this one here, what I call the Brankly Brachiosaurus, an Ankylosaurus, I probably should have went and checked. So here we have, a okay, I was right the first time, Brachiosaurus, awesome. So, really cool guys, uh, let's start with the head, I mean they did great detail on the head. For such a small head, I mean this is like detail guys. Sorry, my camera went nuts there for a minute. So uh, you can see they did a great job. They did not blend the colors. When they painted the tongue, it did not blend into the teeth. So I love the fact that they took a the time and did a great paint job on these guys. 
Like I said, I'm super excited. If they had more, I would buy every single one they had. Well, I did. Uh, they only had three sets, so that's the only ones I could find. Really nice coloring. It's like a light brown, dark green with orange spots all the way around him. Uh, great movement on the legs. The tail will turn 360 degrees. The back leg will turn 360 degrees. Once again, with this guy, they did not paint the nails on the feet, which are a little disappointing because uh, most of the other ones they did, even the Triceratops I'll show you in a minute, they did paint it. So this one, if you want to match the colors, you got to have the tail like this, but you could also have the tail like that. And then here is a look at the other side. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you 360 degree movement on the head. And once again, exposed screws like Jurassic World dinosaur toys. And then guys, I love the detail they did on this Triceratops. I mean, this is like astounding detail. Great movement on the head too, by the way. Uh, it doesn't really turn, but it does move all the way up and down. So it's really good for dinosaur battles. Awesome. Once again, uh, like I said, you could tell us a knockoff for sure, because here you have the open wound which has been painted over. Normally this would be white ribs with like a red background, so it'd be like a grievous wound. But once again, guys, really great paint job. I mean, I can't say enough of this paint job. I have reviewed a lot of dinosaur toys, and this one is awesome. So they painted the horns uh, sort of like a gray, like a grayish steel type color. The plates, dark green, orange, and like a purple uh, outline on them. Uh, great job with the spikes here on the plates. They painted the eyes a cool yellow color. Great job painting the tongue too, uh, didn't really bleed the colors a tiny bit here on the bottom of the tongue, which is acceptable. And like I said, full movement up and down for the head, so really good for dinosaur battles. Uh, legs, you'd have really good movement there. On the back, not 360, but good movement on the back. Like I said, I mean... These have got to be the same molds they made the Jurassic Park dinosaur toys because you got like the same movement on the legs, looks, and everything. This one they actually went ahead and painted the uh, nails on the foot there. I guess, nah, I don't think you'd call them claws. They're not really claws. So the nails on the feet, they went ahead and painted a uh, really nice color scheme throughout here tail uh the tail does not move which i'm a little surprised uh once again exposed screws here uh just like hasbro did with jurassic world toys which is a little disappointing but you know i, I i'm just super happy they brought out newer dinosaur toys from the past and then we have the pterodactyl they did a great job on this pterodactyl. It's a nice big pterodactyl. Uh, flexible rubber-like wings. I'm not sure if that's rubber or plastic, but it is like a rubber feel to them. Great job painting the claws. Uh, let's go ahead and start here on the head. Uh, 360 degree movement on the head, which is really cool. Superb paint job. I mean look at the detail on that eye the beak here without blending Without running the colors into the rest of the head. I love the paint job I mean like I said, it's similar to Schleich and Papo stripes here on the head The wings do move a really good amount in and out Oh, you could move it all the way back just it sticks there a little bit and then forward like that so this would be good for dinosaur battles also a little disappointing it doesn't uh, rotate in a circle great job painting the claws rubber membrane 
wings. Nice coloring, like orange, purplish, yellow type colors everywhere. Superb job on the claws and painting the claws. I mean, I love the way. And 360 degree movement on the legs, which is kind of rare for a pterodactyl. And superb paint job on the back also. Once again, exposed screws like Hasbro on Jurassic World. A little disappointing, but really cool dinosaurs nonetheless. Today we are going to enter the gates of Jurassic Park and travel back to the past to see some of the awesome dinosaurs from the past. Cool! Check that out! Wow! That brings back some good old memories. So I went ahead and set up our new awesome Jurassic Park dinosaurs with some of my favorite Jurassic Park dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park command compound. Awesome. There we have the Brachiosaurus. There we have our new Dilophosaurus, our new Stegosaurus in the back there. Trying to come over the gate is the Red Rex. Uh, by the way, I have done reviews of these and pretty much all of the Jurassic Park toys, so check out my playlist. There we have the Demon Carnotaurus. That one is a hard one to find. Our new, our new Triceratops. And this one is, I would say, my favorite. This is the Animatronic Spinosaurus. 
really cool guy. Uh, I will check out a couple of his features. But uh, if you go to my Jurassic Park playlist, full review and opening and battle there. Awesome new T-Rex. There we have the Chaos Effect Bull T-Rex in the back. We have a uh, Thrasher T-Rex in the back there. And up top there we have our new Pterodactyl. Uh, let's check out some of the features of this playset. But uh, I do a full unboxing. Uh, I have the actual box and everything of the playset. So if you want to go to my Jurassic Park playlist. Let's take a quick look at some of these older dinos. Uh, you can see the quality that Kenner put into them as you can see the Spinosaurus the entire body of the Spinosaurus is rubber except for the uh, arms and the legs really great great quality new no screw holes this guy was animatronic so he has three different action but buttons he makes uh, sound his spine here is all covered with rubber really nice detail speakers here nice big uh, open wound here and he has an action button here too so he like roars like if something sounds like something is attacking him and then uh, let's move on to the chaos effect bull t-rex because the bull t-rexes are uh, ones I really like too because they have the huge mouth here which will swallow a full-size action figure and you go ahead and pull the action figure out of its stomach right here uh, right here I have the one the really weird one that came with it it's like a coffin size box with a guy inside so the full T-Rex swallows the whole thing and you take it out of his stomach there really cool and then we had the red rex i believe this one is called the rexy sometimes the jp09 this one is all rubber too and guys the good news is uh well actually it's sad hasbro lost the license but mattel is taking over and from what i've seen online they are bringing pretty much the same dinosaur lines out so they'll have like the big like rubber ones they'll have like the medium size the small size they're gonna have a lot of action uh, a lot of the figures are gonna be coming out too which I really miss and hopefully they'll make new play sets which would be awesome and then we have the Thrasher T-Rex which is called that because if you move its tail it thrashes its head back and forth and then this command compound, this is one with actual working electronics. So if you go back there, you go ahead and press this, it'll do like hundreds of different phrases. Jurassic Park compound, secure. So let's listen to some of the Jeremy different Bennett phrases. In sector two. Power rid out. Check all fences and hatchery. Uh And then this one, uh, the set was 100% complete, which is hard to find. It's got all the like DNA sequencers. It's got this thing with the uh, action button. If you push it, it'll do like different sounds off of the command module in the back here. Dinosaur, light out incomplete. Repair, light smile for report now. And then, of course, uh, toys from like the 80s and 90s had a lot of breakaway features. So this thing pops off here so a dinosaur could attack inside. I've done a lot of cool action attack videos with that one. This is a breakaway uh, part up here. So that will break away. The door will knock open. And it's, it's just an awesome fun set. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, I love making these videos for you guys. Go ahead, click like, drop me a comment, and also let me know what other dinosaur toys you want to see reviewed. I want to thank you for being awesome, and I will see you tomorrow. Wow, guys, that was a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed the video, 
make sure you click subscribe and the thumbs up button down below the video. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. If you look to the video ends, there's an awesome end card. There's a lot more fun videos. And I will see you soon. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.